on a deal or if you have a busy schedule, you may uh, there are cameras, there is a projection, you do not need special equipment, you just bear this number in the, uh, the link in the browser and it will be virtually present. So you have camera, you can open the corner, you can ask questions. That's interesting. Um, there will be a couple of meetings when uh, we all need to be here, but it is not, not, not everyone. Not, not every, every meeting. Uh, I will chat a little bit about the course uh, today, but you see that uh, not everyone who is in the um, emails is here today because there are some scheduled contacts so you may uh, either do a little pool or just per personally chat or selecting maybe more often and if, uh, if this one is not uh, the best for, for everyone. For me, this one is, is the best, but I'll try to. So maybe during today and next night, uh, just uh, think about uh, your schedules and options on Tuesday and Thursday. Um, we will maybe make a vote for majority. Look for time slots when everyone is larger, largest number of possibilities are happy. And then uh, we'll sacrifice that we need to vote for majority. So, is there uh, any students who have a high conflict with this court? Well, there is one student who. I think I think we'll be happy. Sure, okay, okay, but uh, I'm um, wildly broadly available at home, 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. <laughs> and I, I think we can tailor time slots to be. You know, please, everyone. So uh, there is a, um, those books are recommended. Not, nothing is uh, mandatory. You, you do not need to read any books to uh, become successful in class. But uh, these two are not challenging. They, they do not need uh, much of the specific preparation. They, they are more like practical guides. This one is not in uh, computational chemistry at all, it's more uh, physical quantum chemistry, it's already in the chapter, but since it's like 700 pages and uh, related to our class, maybe 40 pages. And they are very well uh, digested as well. This, um, this is oriented like quantum theory for chemists, so it's uh, a lot of adaptive because uh, quantum theory is originally designed for physicists and physicists. We do not need top level theory. We will be basically using software to model uh, materials and their properties. But some minimal level of uh, theory is, is, is needed, not in the order so that we sit the right equations and uh, wrap to each other, hopefully, uh, but uh, in order that we speak the language of a scientific community. Who People who are involved in modeling materials and their properties. And for computation of modeling materials, uh, there is a colloquial language that uh, helps to progress into your material. So that it's part of what you want to add to the end of your research. 
this one is uh, so advanced that I do not recommend it. But you can uh, look around. So we will cover maybe first 50 pages, and then there will be very advanced material. Would not be possible in the time. But uh, it is very rigorous, and uh, every work in this book is absolutely a textbook for those who like as other textbooks. Um, <coughs> and I think I ordered uh, the three into the bookstore if you ever decided to use them. Those are not mandatory, they are totally just. So, when there will be a majority of classical ideas, I may repeat briefly what we did today, so that everyone is on the same page. But this is basically the uh, structure of, uh, of the course. So, uh, there will be four chapters, and at the end of each chapter, uh, I will suggest that we do presentations. I will write some later. And There will be some minimalistic cohorts, but they are very small percent of the data. Uh, they are more for not to grade you, but to show feedback what is understandable and what is not uh, what I can adjust. So I will cross in maybe once or two weeks or one per week. But the question is to see um, to provide feedback to me. With more details, I will speed up. And this uh, one lecture won't be in this because when uh, everyone is uh, invited to attend in person, because doing presentations through video conference is not easy. Are the presentations individually or in group? Is that both group? So we will split, there will be specific material very much related to the course. Um, I do not want to say the word exam because it is not exam, it is much easier. But in some very far relation, it will be like uh, in terms of presentations. Uh, but do, do not, I, I do not like the word midterm or exam because it's scary. It's like, Testing knowledge of the people. It's more like showing <coughs> your um, positive emotions to the course, and maybe sharing some uh, what, what you find in the books or online or whatever. So, uh, about oh yeah, okay. 15 minutes, one hour will be split on the amount of use of the class, and we'll do like uh, four minutes presentations individually coming up. Very over and uh, a lot of things in the class material will be repeated because I'm doing it for six or seven times and if they are recorded. Uh, I hope that every year I'm doing it better, but who knows, maybe it was. So we may look at the content and the four will be really the same. So uh, I'll share um, links to each lecture. Or you can either sit here, connect through the video conference, or just watch it, or do all three and several times. So, um, there will be um, one more meeting, or one meeting before the, the, the last presentations when everyone is invited to come. So, uh, five times during the lecture time is when I um, you, you're very welcome and encourage you to come other, but if your schedule is up, put it on. Then there will be about uh, each Wednesday, there will be a practical session downstairs on the computer. So, uh, the room is very reserved for three hours, but we will be living much more. So, do not despair. So, uh, investing in time will be. Very more. I will try to finish 
this virtual script is in the power, and it will be a little longer than an hour in the, in the computer. So, if you have about approximately per month, then there is, there is approximately per chapter. So, if um, you will get acquainted, I will learn about your profiles and your interests. Right now, I just want to give a quick summary. But I have a intuition that uh, you are in, that your primary interest is not into the deeper academic principles of the subject, but more into practical applications or more than actual materials or uh, their problems in practical application. In this sense, the uh, chapters will be the uh, most important. Uh, I'm not telling you the rest is completely not necessary. This will be most practical. So the first chapter will be uh, background theories and an important thing about organization. The virtual materials will be just for the language, and for maybe some equations that you can copy paste in your fields or your application. Um, it is not for why I've not demanded that uh, you will be deriving equations. It's more of a field of advancement and explain uh, how they are connected to the computer codes in the way language. But it is an, if, if I do not spend time on it, then uh, reports that you will write will not look uh, um, pleasant to professionals in, in this area. If you absorb a little of the language and equations, what you write will be competitive with the corporate school. You do applications, describe it using this language, and it will be competitive for um, At a time that you invest a month in chapter one, at the same month, you will do uh, practical uh, things in, in the lab that will partially complement what you do, but it will be not literally the same things. So, for the uh, first month in the lab, we will do uh, molecular modeling, and some of you may have been exposed to just raw molecules or materials, surfaces, put something in that sort of It's like it's in the <laughs> right? But it, it is a critical part without doing uh, models on any first for that. Some people who work with crystals can import molecular models from X ray diffraction. And completely avoid uh, growing materials. But we will overview what we get and we will also get experience in. Um, and, and I don't know how many of you are already exposed to Linux in this computer environment, but we will slowly but surely get it. I'll, I'll explain it in uh, tomorrow, at least in the lunch. So, uh, what are molecular models? What are the general goals? How to split big pool of modeling materials and their properties on other tasks that can be solved by the future. Then, uh, this one will uh, check on, uh, we'll go mostly about positions of atoms and uh, geometries of your model models. Then, uh, what properties of materials are related to the electronic states? Conductivity, color, uh, material explain, um, material changes, conductivity based on forbids, like this for uh, other monoxide sensors, things like that. Um, so one needs electronic products. And the uh, second month uh, will deal with the basic, most simple theory for electronic products called quadratic theory. No one in modern world um, does it for competitive results. But it is like a cornerstone that uh, sets up language definitions, concepts, and it is uh, mostly developed with Google code. Although it has some approximation, but they are important So uh, if you are looking into 
applications of modeling uh, real materials, it's not as useful. You're not bored in your reports. But it is like having a part that sets up data uh, with means of concepts of orbitals, accusation orbitals, things that are totally used. In the uh, lab, at this time, we will go over so called Gaussian software. Modern standard, standard for the test. And the very tool that allows to create models and characterize them in small possible uh, views and work on not standing up from the workplace. While other pieces of software you will need to The piece of code we cover during this month of the second month of the lab will be quite easy to set up skills, concepts, but it will be a good fundamental. And then uh, in the third month, which will be like March, we will cover uh, so called uh, basic functions. So it is not the most exact, but it is a workhorse of the best, of the very best in the precision and measurement. This may change in several years, but the by today it is changing. And um, in order for me to be competitive um, in the uh, projects and papers like this, we will go over through those parts of the principles. But we do not need to memorize to write, we need to be able to draw it. And at the same time, during the collapse, uh, we will get exposed to a software called the initial software package, which is uh, one of the champions. Uh, if you need mid sized models, Sufficient precision and ordinary properties it is very powerful tool. There is uh, overall looking possible software so reports, and this one seems more powerful. Uh, during this manual, manual means during the month to uh, get some uh, skills and practical hands on experience. And then at the last meeting of this chapter, I will uh, chop. Practical skills uh, on Mount uh, Whitney reports, and you will basically teach each other how to use the software and how to see them. Which, uh, all previous years of doing this course, this one is uh, considered as the uh, most it was accepted mostly enthusiastic by class attendees, and uh, I will be up when. Uh, Lectures for first and two. This one got the largest number of kids. So it seems like the most of the practical important part of the course. And do not worry, we will absorb information during the month, this presentation, then we will visit it. That means not nothing is better. Um, in the uh, time space, in this white space, uh, you, you will need to finalize uh, your choices for your research project. And um, while during the month of April, I will be delivering some advanced concepts for uh, particular properties and advanced theories, how to say, uh, time in the lab will be used to invest skills from all previous things into your projects. Select problems, solve it computationally, and start writing. And uh, sometimes at the beginning of the day, uh, we will propose uh, reports for the account of your preferred problem. And at the last meeting, we will present your research.
any any questions? So on projects, uh, we need to. I, I'm not familiar yet with this content mystery. Projects huh? could be just related to Discord or, for instance, our major uh, is uh, molecular dynamic and. Uh, I was wondering if we can find some connection to our current research. Absolutely, yes. It, 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 it could be more uh, maybe efficient yes. to maybe at least publish a, I don't know, publication paper or something like that. I believe we should uh, find a um, healthy merger. And uh, I know that uh, you may be already um, experts. In not expert, but some on, on, the, on the way to become one, right? And um, so this uh, software also does molecular dynamics. Okay. But um, do you do a reacts app? Can you hear? You mean also? Reacts app. It's a force field. It's a force field. It's um, a reactive force field. Yes. Do you do, do react? I just heard about it. No. So um, I will. We cannot. Do everything in this meeting, which I promised to make sure. But um, I, I will learn more about projects of, of your interest. And uh, the third molecular mechanics, molecular dynamics, is uh, used for like conformations, uh, docking, absorption. But also, there is an important chapter of molecular mechanics when uh, molecules and solids experience bond breaking and formation. Do you do molecular uh, dynamics with bond breaking? Not even. There are objective challenges. If you do uh, um, force field, majority of force fields, except except reacts, do not allow bond breaking. Right. And there is a usually they use harmonic functions and we are okay models that yeah. But there is a huge number of important problems for bonds are Problem. Like uh, in uh, chemistry, you do photocatalysis. When you like, have a, a reactive uh, surface, which you excite the light, or a simple, uh, and then it uh, water breaks, hydrogen, and oxygen, or like simple electrolytes. So bonds are broken and formed, and it is uh, industrial important for which there are more problems. So this software gives the solution. And uh, one can try to do the same problem by your favorite software and by this one, and by results. If bonds are not broken, results should be the same. If they're broken, this one could be more helpful. But uh, it is part of my current job. It's an again information that you personally, it is much more important just to dive into research projects and get new ideas. Maybe I will, can get you some inspiration. Maybe you can get some, some inspiration from the code. So it will, it will be a healthy merge. Uh, right. But uh, as you said about the course field, I don't know, you are uh, familiar with course field in modeling in molecular dynamics? I'm not doing it, but I'm familiar. Uh, and one of the major problems is that, for instance, with course field in modeling, we cannot uh, capture the charge. So defining the force field is very challenging. For this kind of uh, yes. model, I'm I'm not sure if we can utilize quantum chemistry to, for instance, define force fields to to adjust the force field and the parameters for such that molecular it is, modeling. It is possible, and it will be very beneficial if your systems are large. If it is like more than thousand atoms, if your system is less than thousand or better, like a couple hundred atoms, one can uh, directly use of initial molecular dynamics that uh, has uh, explicit treatment of charges and uh, the problems, that, uh, the challenges for traditional molecular dynamics are resolved. So you just, just run molecular dynamics that automatically takes care of charge distribution for breaking and uh, it is uh, one approach. I'm very happy that I'm not mounting to myself at the discussion. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> we actually start. 
So, um, okay, I'll chat more. Does any of you need to leave a waiter room at noon? Do we need to speed up right now? Okay. Uh, in short, please. Please, okay, okay. But let me know. We all are all considered in this of this class as a young colleagues. Everyone should be. I will have a class at 12 Oh, we will finish definitely not okay, sure. okay. And um, probably on tomorrow evening, when uh, hopefully everyone will come, I will either put a sign up sheet or send email with good of food so that we select option option time. So, um, maybe you or you already do know it. Should we, if you are growing experts in course uh, and, uh, and you are also could be exposed to the spirit of the theory of the applications of the So, so uh, we'll just teach the rest of the Share experience. Um, it is also something that you may be ex exposed to because there are different pieces of software when it's passed. And, um, by the way, do you, uh, when do you run the models? In which uh, series? CCAS. Okay, yeah, there is a CCAS. Huh? Anything else? Supercomputer and CCAS. Yes. So. But any, any other supercomputer in addition? Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you open accounts on another computer which is in the top Okay. So, okay. You can get higher credits. Um, so, if you are for security experts, first chapter will be like childish game. But the uh, second month uh, will be diving more into electronic properties, and maybe you will find something uh, interesting and, uh, and exciting. So, you know, states of electrons, which takes certain energy, partitions between them. Density of electron states which determines whether the material is a conductor or a diver. And uh, we will dive deep into this terminology and get uh, hands on in, uh, in this uh, aspect. And, uh, so we mentioned the charge transfer between species. We will also get into uh, how the electrons localize in one group model or another group model. And, uh, this is the part that uh, we consider most uh, pleasant and interesting because it is uh, more dynamics that you already experienced with, but it uh, abolition of the dynamics which allows uh, charge transfer, charge distribution, excited states, and then the forces on uh, forces on each atom can be different depending on the electronic state. If you like shine light or apply electrodes, the uh, molecular dynamics of your models can be different. So each atom will experience different forces. And uh, one, if one does have an issue of molecular dynamics, or doesn't need to re parameterize. It's all there. It's more, more universal. And uh, this is probably what we already and store yeah, where you know the So one day we may rename this course on information chemistry to advanced molecular dynamics. I don't know, maybe it will attract a broader interest. And um, after will be um, additional chapters which are not like primary and embedded, but at least I will open the door someone that you are interested so, um, if your motor is being electronically excited or charged or attached to uh, complex, this time it may change it like this. If one needs some uh, specific tools or methods to see how it changes this time. If uh, the transistor dies on the in a circuit, experiences different signals, how electronic states are, are changed. And uh, if uh, Molecule or material part of its uh, screen, like in the uh, sensor, 
in uh, Excel as well. If you not stay excited for forever after all this, you there, there is some uh, rotation process. That's it. Uh, 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 we will do not much teamwork because our teams, because there would be like 30 people who are wandering in teams and then each presentation will be like CS relations. Right now we have a luxury of doing Technical writing is this part. And, uh, it's, it's not a secret. Before uh, publishing this little clip, your um, reports will be offered across the class. You will write reviews about each other. Not about each other, about reports each other. And uh, from previous years, this part gives a tremendous increase in the quality in the sense of being logically organized. Uh, just even if no one reads it, but you, you expect that someone will read the right. If I'm writing for myself or if I'm writing for someone else, I'm writing much better if I or see someone who will read it. Right. Right. Presentations and um, put uh, your uh, Oracle and movies on YouTube. Maybe competing for your. And uh, is there a final exam or other one you ready? No. Uh, so just do not resist no offense to your group of your friends. <laughs> um There will be homeworks, there will be these presentations, and uh, if you just do all of them, I think like, it should be very effective. Okay. There is, uh, I do not think it will be so much intellectual challenge uh, that uh, um, any of the class in this will try hard as well. This, uh, moderate amount of effort you will excel in uh, getting all the material so basically it's uh, responsible effort needed for the results of the project can you just publish in uh, another competition report yes uh, we will in the future so So all of us uh, can accept to that before so we need to write some proposal for the next Um I will mention it in the in, in the lab. You will be uh, enabled with access during the class. And if you need it further, it is very much negotiable with the open. But the um I see what it is will be open, it's uh burn the energy. So they, and they, unlike Seacrest, they, they uh, assign specific number of hours per user per year. And uh, if, like in, in Seacrest, if you have a count, you can use it infinitely as long as uh, other people can use it. On others, uh, one uh, begins so many hours per year, and then if you're over it, you can use it for it. So there will be some limitations, but they are not terrible. There will be. So um, let's see more the boxes. What? I don't know. Um, maybe, maybe even um, I can either write myself or um, the boxes. Let's just go one by one and write something. I, I will help. So it is a summary of the, of the, of the course. Okay, this up here. 
Yep. Yep. So you can. Uh, can I go for tech support? Uh, excuse me? Yes. Um, there is something wrong with the screen. Can you open it? So, um, the effort that you did in the, in the course uh, will uh, merge together some uh, theories. So, whoever is doing this course can write the word theory to it. Okay. So, just write with your finger theory. Finger? With yes, finger, yes. In the box. Just, just word theory, or you can write choosing your equation if you want. The word will be sufficient. Yeah, I'm not good at <laughs> Just try your best. Yeah, excellent. Thank you. <laughs> and you, you, you know, from quantum mechanics, main theory is choosing your equation. Uh, can you fill one of the boxes? You are in the right place if you want to do computational chemistry. <laughs> I'm talking about cellular towers replacing all over the city of Fargo. Mm. Bismarck, Grand Forks. Very interesting, but not as academic as our activity here. 5G. Right. Okay, that's thank you. Thank you for doing this. It is important for all of us. Problem models. Just you draw model or write with finger. Models? Yeah, models. Excellent, thank you. Yep. We, we work as a team. And then uh, we do have a simulation. See I'm also not which what needs um, um, computers, right? Hardware. So you can write it for hardware and software. Uh, software. software. Well, in one box, hardware, in another is software. Software. In another, you can write hardware. Yeah, yes. Thank you much. Thank you. And uh, in the last box, you can guess what we get out of the simulations. Um, and if you're in like uh, science, engineering, uh, what is the output about materials? Observables, properties, like properties. Oh, whatever it doesn't. Pro properties. Oh, properties. Thank you very much. Let's check. Uh, yes, <laughs> last year it was there were atomic model structures. Okay, models, atomic model structures. As you can and uh, when you have this uh, observables or properties, we can uh, compare them to experiment or to whatever. Industrial publication products, and you do it on computers. So basically, it is a sum, sum, summary of the, of the course. It's, uh, if a stranger uh, catches you in a superstore and asks, asks what is combination of things, you can export the modeling properties of materials with uh, software and hardware. Um, I will post this thing. Um, 
I will just start this uh, material so we have less for further if you have a general idea of where we will be intellectually going. So if we are modern materials or uh, materials are molecules, all, all materials are made of uh, what? Huh? Atoms. Atoms. And atoms are made of Electrons, protons. Uh, huh? So electrons, which are negatively charged, yeah. and nucleus. Nucleus and nuclear charge. Mm -hmm. Good. And for the for this class, you don't care about the protons and nucleus. You just need uh, uh, nuclei with a certain mass and certain charge. Then you are going to go deep. And um, so here I have. And uh, what you need to accomplish in third grade, although one can accomplish it in five minutes. So you need to recall what are molecules, and um, if if you want to model something that has no electrons, we need to take into account the fact that uh, electrons have very important features, important properties. And they are uh, both particles and waves. They take the clouds. So, if you want to, we are not mathematicians. We are not. Um, we are not putting a goal to make big theories, but we need to be exposed to basics. And before we uh, set up a software to model problems with uh, nuclei and electrons. We need to convert our problem onto mathematical language. It is unavoidable. Uh, and we need to do it correctly. So, um, if we want to set up mathematical language for atomic model or uh, uh, nucleus and electrons, we need to know how many of each type of nucleus, how many electrons. They all are the same type. And then, for short intervals, like temporarily, but forever, we can assume that electrons are protons and charges. Then, what do you do in uh, physics and quantum theory if you need to solve generally any problem? Yes, but which equation? Uh, what is the major concept? In, uh, in physics, if you have a system of any objects, there is a very general uh, concept, general idea that is uh, universal and uh, with very minimal exceptions. Very, you perfect. Perfect. You need to write a Hamiltonian, and you can from Hamiltonian you can go to units. Or you can go to a brand new equation. You can go to Schrodinger equation. So you need to come to What is Hamiltonian? What is the Hamiltonian? Hamiltonian is the name of the person. Scientist, but which observable does it correspond? In which units we measure Hamiltonian? Which units, like meters, seconds? Uh, I'm, 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 I'm provoking. I'm not, I'm not being too more. I haven't given the right so answer. It's the larger scale. Units, units, like centimeters, even meter. Centimeters, meters are units of length. Length, yeah. Seconds, picoseconds are units of time. Uh -huh. Which other physical uh, observables, physical units? Mass, velocity, what else? Acceleration. Mm -hmm. huh? Momentum. Momentum, yes, very good. What else? Yes, good. What else? 
if I if you drink if I drink a lot of coffee. But what do I have? Yes. So what uh, what are units of hemoglobin? Yes. Yes, it's energy. So it's uh, uh, observable of, of, of total energy of the system, okay? which can be measured in joules or calories per mole or out in volts or half or there are different different units, but it is energy. And which two forms of energy you will you know for sure? I have no doubts, you just need to pronounce it. Okay, good. So heat is when you when you like uh, uh, potential energy or you're talking about uh, potential uh, and uh, or heat heat is good potential energy and heat energy but there is a little Finance. yes okay. potential energy. So if you want to um, convert description of your molecular model into a mathematical language, you need to set up an equation for which is kinetic energy plus potential energy, right? So uh, we need to make a connection between, we need to set up uh, where our nucleus and electrons are located in space, record positions of all nucleus, as you do in molecular dynamics, record pos positions of all your electrons, and then assign velocity for each nuclei and each electron. And as soon as you have this, like, four types of parameters, positions and velocities for each object, out of this uh, variables, you can set up the Hamiltonian, right? You, you agree that it is quite universal approach. So um, this will be the whole, uh, maybe I leave it as a desert for, for next uh, for Thursday meeting. We decided to do that. Today we will just do planning. So we will do this list of position, position, momentum, momentum, or velocity, velocity for nucleus, electrons, table, right? And then compose them into kinetic energy and potential energy. And then what can one do if Hamiltonian is known? After after I know Hamiltonian, I cannot sell Hamiltonian. I cannot publish it because it is like a very strange job. You need properties of molecules and material. How do I get from Hamiltonian to material properties? How do you get from Hamiltonian to molecular dynamics? How do you get from Hamiltonian to mm, Newton equation of motion? Wave function, it, it is a direction that I want to, to read. And, and uh, the intermediate question, if, if you need Newton's equation of motion, you can take a derivative of uh, Hamiltonian over position uh, of the particles that you're moving. And derivative of energy over position will be force. And force equals acceleration and mass. If we move ion number i, we take this uh, derivative, it will be acceleration i times mass, and uh, acceleration is uh, ion i. This is uh, Newton's second law, right? But as soon as you know Hamiltonian, there's mass of I and I, and this is Hamiltonian. You can uh, write it down, then program it and get it. But we do have electrons. And uh, you mentioned correctly that uh, there should be wave function. So how do you get wave function out of Hamiltonian? Which equation do you solve? 
Your call will be disconnected. Oh, uh, if crane, if cranium function. Oh, okay. Probably it, it prompts us to to have one over one hour for the meeting. Show the question, right? So as soon as we know Hamiltonian, we can find wave functions and energies. So uh, next uh, on Thursday meeting, whatever time we decide to have it, we will. Uh, write, make, make a figure for ions and electrons, write down Hamiltonian, and describe how to uh, plug it into Schrodinger equation. This will be a great achievement for, for, the lecture, for actual lecture number two. Can you please repeat what we have to do next? Make a figure of it? Yes. So here is the plan. So we define molecule. We uh, set up uh, the list of variables, which will be positions and velocities of electrons and nuclei. We write down the kinetic and potential energy which composes Hamiltonian, and then we plug in this Hamiltonian into Schrodinger equation for the goal of finding energies and wave functions. Okay. So, uh, any brief questions? Oh, what's the meaning of R again? Is that position? Position, yes. Okay. I'm not going to further details because it, like, it, it looks like our time is up. More questions? If no meeting is, is complete, uh, I look forward to seeing you Wednesday 5 p.m. and please uh, develop uh, ideas about your uh, preferred times. Okay. And uh, we are going off record, so if you want to uh, criticize something or someone